Season 10's Tier 1 Championship here in Moose Racing League. My name is Punju, and I am so freaking ripped excited to be joining you guys here at Spa for an incredible race here tonight. Now, this race has a lot on the line. It could decide championships up and down the grid, and I'm so excited to be joined by the bestest of the restest. You guys know him. You love him. It's our good friend, Mr. Andy. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, all good, my friend. I'm so excited for this race. I cannot wait. It's going to be an absolute blast, as per usual here oh, yeah. in MRL Tier 1. I can't wait, man. Dude, this it... is one of the iconic tracks, and it's going to display some serious racing for us tonight. I can see it already in the paddock. Uh, yep, I know you and I have a little bit of an advanced uh, look right now. We see the uh, the soggy, soggy qualifying, as Sebi has just went ahead and alluded to uh, in the chat right here. It's going to be wicked. Now, like I said, tonight is going to be a big night for a lot of championships, a lot of drivers. It could be... You know, heartbreak, and it could be, uh, you know, redemption. You never know. Uh, so we're going to see what happens. Let's go ahead and take a look at the track map, obviously. You guys all know uh, Spot. You guys all love it. It's 19 corners across 4.3 miles, the longest track on the F1 calendar. However, it's not the longest on lap times, but it's pretty dang close. Uh, it's got a lot of elevation change, too, obviously, from turn one all the way up to turn eight, and then it starts to go back downstairs and go all the way down low until you get down to turn, I want to say it's 10, 13. Once it starts to get bottom, uh, you know, ground level again, and they kind of stay around the same all the way through. Yeah, it's 12, 13 is where they start to sit through. And then on their way back up to turn uh, 19, where they then take the uphill action into turn one. It's going to be wicked, overtaking, obviously, in the main DRS zones all the way up a Rouge Radion, as we all know. But there will be some interesting ones, I'm sure, with the fact that we are going to have a wet qualifying and an early bit of the race being wet as well. So it's going to be wicked. Where do you think some of these drivers will make some... Uh, some audacious moves tonight, uh, Andy. Uh, well, I think we'll see plenty of overtaking once we get into drier conditions with the DRS working miracles down, uh, or should I say up the camel straight. Yes. And those those drivers who are a little bit braver, uh, I've seen some real good moves this weekend down that hill into Ravage, hanging yep. it around the outside. And, of course, we've got the, uh, the world-famous Blanchemont um, as the run down to the bus stop chicane. So I'm looking forward to those three parts of the track in particular. Mm, now, I personally, in, my, in our tier three race, I made a move on the outside of Blanchemont. It's scary as heck. So especially mm -hmm. in the wet, it's very scary, but it's one of your best spots to do it. If you get a really good run out of the corner prior to that, um, you know, you're way into it. It's just, it's just so strong. You got almost nothing against you to, to go ahead and make that overtake. So I'm sure we'll see one or two there. Now let's talk about these permutations tonight. We've got yeah. a couple drivers out there. Let's go ahead and jump in to uh to this thing right here. And you guys can see exactly what we got for the tier one standings. 
we got a few drivers out there that have a lot on the line. Of course, the number one and number two drivers uh, on the grid, Cookie and Marcus Libs, have officially uh, locked themselves uh, too far away from Supply Raptor to catch up. However, Marcus has a lot of work to do. If you notice, he's 34 points behind. If he gets outscored by more than nine points tonight, he does not have a chance of winning this championship. Cookie can wrap it up today. However, if Cookie has a bad race or Marcus just absolutely cooks tonight, which, I mean, both are definitely possible, uh, it could then throw this thing wide open, to which case it's going to go down to the final race uh, with a legit shot of, like, you know, a 10-point differential up and down. Uh, so you never know. We do have some uh, some dark horses in the lobby tonight. Uh, both of them in the Williams that I know of for sure. El Taco Jack. Many of you guys know Jack Ledford from many seasons prior. He's had some great races. He's had some uh, rough races. So sometimes a wild card. Same thing with Ketchin coming up from Tier 3. Uh, will be a bit of a wild card as well. Um, other wild cards on the grid, I'd say probably Tachubi. He's one you never really know. He seems pretty quick, but never know. And I know Drix. Uh, we always root on Drix. He's, he's freakishly fast here. So uh, he's one to worry about as well. Who are you looking at to be the, uh, the wild cards of the night tonight? Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing if um, Eston Barr can follow up last week with um, a good result here in that Haas. Uh, looking forward to watching him race again. And um, yeah, I, I, do you know what? I, I know he's sat third in the championship right now, but looking forward to seeing how Supply Raptor can try mm. and keep in check with Cookie. Um, I've just seen those guys both racing around this circuit. Yes. So interesting, interesting to see how they finish up in this particular race with these conditions. I know. Now, my question for these you. These are different. Who came out on top uh, in your last race, Cookie or uh, or Supply Raptor? Cookie won the race by five seconds. Supply <laughs> Raptor finished second. Wow. Okay. Well, look at that. That seems to be the, the trend here in Tier 1 as well. Those two near the top uh, always at the sharp end as as our one George Morgan would say. Uh it's going to be uh, it's going to be a very interesting one for sure. Now let's go ahead and take a look at uh of course last race's results. We remember as you mentioned Esteban trying to double it up from last race. Had a great race, but then Giants fan also came out in a pretty strong position in second and eruption came home in third uh with uh, throat yogurt and Drix running out the top 5. Um uh, Cookie obviously only got 6. It was a bit of a rough race for him last week. So uh he uh he definitely was not too stoked, but Marcus Libs got outscored even more, got ninth after a late race incident. Uh, really took him out of uh, out of the running for good points. So yeah, you never really know what's going to happen here tonight. Uh, it could be absolutely wild. And what's funny about the rain is somehow these drivers find a way to still be almost identical with each other on pace. And uh, as of right now, you see Drix and Estenbach, the current two top ones. Uh, they are just a couple uh, hundreds off of each other. And we're on uh, El Taco Jack starting his first run. Yeah, incredibly close, mate. The first couple of guys out. Six, seven hundreds between Drix and Estenbach. Mm -hmm. scarily scarily close yep, and uh xylo in the second of our aston martins uh currently sat in provisional pole for at least five seconds until minico took that with a 55 2 so uh yeah a couple of times going down that are pretty competitive i have to say yeah this is already starting to look pretty uh pretty toasty for sure i'm interested to see what's gonna end up happening here tonight it'll be uh It'll be quite a wild one, I'm sure. Now, uh, I think uh, also another one who's, who's one to watch out is Throat Yogurt. Never know. He can get lucky sometimes. So we'll see what he's got. Uh, uh, by the way, I need to be right back in like 45 seconds. Give me one second. Be right back. Hey, on. no problem. We're, we're on with El Taco Jack. Aren't we? As El Taco Jack does indeed go off the program and gets, really gets sideways. That's going to be his lap pretty much ruined. That was a big mistake there from El Taco Jack. And he's... Had to pull out of that lap. So we'll see him go round again. Uh, obviously, plenty of ERS left in the tank as he lost it uh, through the corner with no name. Uh, Minico and Drix. Drix improves. So it looks like these guys are going to load up with fuel and just keep going round and round and round. Uh, currently, we've got 55-2 with pole for Minico and a 55 I was going to say a 55.9 for Eston Bar, but he goes better. 155.1 for Eston Bar then in that Haas. He's taken provisional pole with well over 10 minutes left of this qualifying session here at Spa Francorchamps. Yeah, that's a fast time. I'm back, by the way. That's crazy. A 55.1 already. I don't know what Jack's on right here. Uh, I'm expecting it to be like the 56s, 57s, maybe. You never know. He could be coming out swinging, though. You know, we're about to find out, right? Uh, uh, yeah, 203, Jack, just kidding. Jack had a, he had a huge mistake coming oh. through the corner with no name. 
down towards Puyon or Double Gauche, if you will. Uh, so he's had to go again. But I was just saying, Punji, all these guys will have loaded up the fuel and they'll just go out and do four, five, six laps to try and get themselves into a rhythm in this mm. rain and see if we can find ourselves a little bit of a dry line to perhaps reduce the times. I can only see it getting quicker from here on on. Yeah, I think you're probably right about the people, you know, loading up the fuel for sure. One person is strikingly quick as Minico. Look at that time right there. 55-2, barely sitting in second. And you're right, he's going for a second push lap. Let's go ahead and, ooh, it's a little bit wobbly over all, uh, all the tough stuff up uh, over his Radion. Looks like, uh, yeah, he's invalidated that lap right there. Not surprised. Drix, though, uh, on a slow lap, he's recharging. We got Snakey also recharging. Uh, Zylo's in the garage, cooking the garage to Tubi. Is improving. Four tenths up in his best right now. We'll put him uh, in those 55s. And depends how he handles his final sector, but looks like a really good braking zone into bus stop. I mean, he gets the power down right, which it looks like he does. Maximizing the traction out of those wet tires. 55, 8, improved by four and a half tenths. That's improvement, but dude, everyone's still got more to go. This is crazy how tight it is already, and we're literally nine minutes left. What the heck? Yeah, it's pretty close already. And we've got a car in the pit lane, two cars in the pit lane, in Rich Sebi and Zylo, who have thrown some intermediate tires on. Zylo changes his mind, puts the... No, he has. He has put the intermediates oh. back on. He changed from West back to Inters. Mm. So we've got Rich Sebi and Zylo yet to come out of the pit lane. Mm -hmm. But right. with Inters on. Maybe just waiting a few moments to let these drivers... You know, the intermediate tires, they act like a little bit of hoovers, and they can get rid of 35 litres of water per second. Wow. When it is wet. That's a little stat I've been wanting to share all day. <laughs> and there we go. We finally got it out. We finally yes. got it out. That's a good stat. 35 litres of water per second is what they can clear off the track? Yeah. Wow. What, about the, what about the wets? Probably more? I'm sure. Obviously. I would imagine the wets are more. I would, I would go the wets 40 plus easy. That's incredible. Wow, that's so much displacement. You're right, though. It does really kill up a, or, you know, get a really good uh, dry land pretty quick. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Setar says it's actually one of the most fun stats about F1. I agree. That's impressive. I think you might be, you might need to become a Pirelli spokesman at this point. Holy smokes. Steady, steady. <laughs> well, somebody who is looking to stay steady is this guy on track right now. Marcus Libs, currently the only driver yet to set any sort of time on the leaderboard. And, of course, he's fighting for his championship life right now. Four drivers now sitting in the pits on the Inter, so a bunch of people are trying to make a make a waiting move for it. However, Marcus, I think the way that his strategy is going to work right now, he's going to get no chance on the Inter. So if it ends up being the tire for uh, for the day, he will never get a shot at it uh, currently, unless he decides to go in at the end of this wet lap and say, no, everyone's going to get on Inter's. I should go for it. Uh, it just it seems like it's too long of laps. He's only got seven minutes left of the session. Yeah, He would have to get around this entire track. Uh, which he's still got a, other, a whole other minute, so I put him down to six minutes. Then a full in lap, which is another two minutes. It's four minutes. And he's only got two minutes to get her out. I mean, that's that's tight. Yeah, that's it's too really tight. tight. It's too tight. In in these conditions, if it was dry, he'd be okay. Yep. But in these conditions, it's just too tight. And we yeah. do have multiple drivers now just still sat in the pits They're with waiting. the intermediate tires on. Although oh, yeah. El Taco Jack, El Taco Jack, after that. Uh, not so great stint on the wets is on an outlap on the enters as we speak. First one. Oh, okay. We shall see how this works out. Now, uh, before we uh, we get too deep in this, oh, Marcus just throws down a purple sector for uh, sector two. He's really pushing the edge of the track limits right there. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and let this lap go through first, and then we'll take a look at our full team standings uh, for the entire league and all their cumulative standings for uh, all tiers combined because it's spicy there as well. Don't get me wrong. Um, other permutations tonight, by the way, speaking of uh, permutations and teams, Red Bull will win the championship tonight for Tier 1 uh, if they do not get outscored by Ferrari by five points. There goes Mark Slips. What proving a lap. On. What a lap. That's, that's silly, dude. That's so silly. So, uh, yeah, Marcus Slips wants to make that one, uh, wants to make that known that, hey, he's here to play. Uh, and ready to go put down uh, some pretty impressive times. Let's take a look at those full team standings. Of course, right now, Aston Martin leads the combined constructor champion across all tiers. Uh, quite handsomely as well, actually. 50-point gap. That's a pretty big one. However, uh, after today, it seems like Alpine's had some decent luck, so never know. They could end up uh, getting a little bit higher up. Ferrari right there sitting in third. Not too far off of that uh, second place spot, so they're definitely still within a good shot. And Haas, obviously, in fourth. Also, honestly, still within a shot of winning this thing. 
Uh, it would be really annoying if Pogs wins, though. I'm gonna be honest with you in Aston Martin, because <laughs> dude, he like never TP, he never TPs, jumps in just because like, yeah, I guess they need me, and then wins again, and he'll probably just like, <clears throat> you know, not TP again next season. It's insane. He just gets so lucky. It's amazing. Uh, he did big. He actually made some great picks. I can't even lie. I can't. I can't hate on him too much. He made some great picks. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what these drivers out here though are uh, are gonna be doing. Because obviously we're taking a look at combined constructors. What matters more is the race in front of us. So many drivers now putting on the inters. <coughs> uh, let's take a look at El Taco Jack. Is he improving? Obviously, I mean the first sector is the important one to notice. Five tenths up on his first sector. Immediate improvement. It does look like it's definitely still a little sketchy out there, a little hairy, but I don't see too many puddles down the ground anymore. So uh, Marcus Libs might be wanting to. Oh, yeah, he's invalidated. He's going to haul to get back uh, and see if he can put on some fresh entrance. He does actually have time, I think, right now. If he was to go in, yeah. he could do it. Barely. Yeah. Is he just in the middle of Sector 3 or is he in Sector 2? Middle of Sector 3 right now. So he's got four minutes yeah. left. He should be able to make it. It's tight, <clears throat> but he should be able to make it. Um, he will have to have a decently quick outlap, and he's gonna go in. Yep, there he is. Smart move from him. Chazzy bot, uh, not going in. Chazzy though, by the way, what the heck? Tier two driver up here, put down a very competitive time on the wets at a fifty-five seven three two here in tier one, just for the cookie, our championship leader. That's insane. Uh, however, because of the fact that it is a drying session, it is going to be the most traffic-heavy session in the world in these last two minutes. It's gonna yeah. be bonkers. So expect it to be wild. And look at half these people already getting out early as well. So that means they're all going to be on variable timings as well. Oh, dude, it's going to be it's going to be gnarly. Uh, City of R up half a second right now through sector one. Uh, he'll be coming across the sector two marker in a few more corners as well. So uh, I'm Big curious Jack. to see what he's got. Oh, Jack, Jack on the inters. Jack on the inters of 53-3. Two seconds to the good. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, that's the statement right there. That is telling everybody, get on the inters if you haven't done it yet. And Jack, if he fueled up enough, has enough time for a cooldown recharge lap, and then to go again. Or he's just going to go and send it one more time, <laughs> which it looks like his, that's his strategy. He's just going to resend it. Uh, yeah. Is he going to be up through sector one? He's only got 30% energy. He, I don't know. I think it would have been smart of him to do a cooldown. Unless yeah, he didn't have sure. a feel it's for it. Three seconds to the good through uh, through two sectors as well, by the way. Who is? City of R. Oh, wow. Se three seconds to the good through two sectors. Well, uh, Jack just got over three tenths through sector one. Again. And he just makes a big mistake at the end of sector one. I think he should slow it down and recharge. But obviously, it looks like he's just going to be going all the way through. City of R, professional pulls himself in tier one. City of R, how does that feel, my friend? That must feel great to sit at the, uh, you know, see yourself at the top of the timetables. It might not last for long, but that doesn't mean it doesn't feel great. So uh, nice job, man. That's a great laugh right there. I'm watching Estenbach here coming through uh, the middle of sector two. How is he handling it? Looks like he's backing off, actually. Yeah, he's not He's not pushing right now. He's going to have a slow lap. Drix will definitely be pushing. He's always one we want to watch. Looks good so far. Yellow Snowman has entered the chat. Congratulations to Yellow Snowman for being our tier two champion, officially crowned as of today. He is mathematically unbeatable. Congratulations to Yellow yeah. Snowman for our second champion. Oh my gosh, Drex, how do you know the track limits that well? That's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. That was, that's that wild. was incredible. Uh, that was down to the pixel. Um, yeah, congratulations to Yellow Snowman. He's our second driver's champion crowned of the season. So well done. Well done. Well done to you. Congratulations, Yellow. It's got to feel good. I know he is stoked because it's the first time he's gotten a trophy next to his name, not from no assist. So he's like, yes, it's a legit one. <laughs> oh, oh there it Drix. Is. Yep. Drix invalidates. He does have time to get through. If he can halt this traffic, he can make another one. Oh, my gosh. That is traffic haven. Like I told you, it's going to be traffic city. There's Master Turtle with a 31.9. That's incredible right there. It's over two seconds ahead or almost two seconds ahead of El Taco Jack. Who had yeah, set the sure. first interest lap? That's crazy how fast it's improving. But Jack will get a second shot right here, and he's charged up his battery. He's got 90% ready to go for this final lap. Uh, will Marcus Libs make it around? How much time do we have left uh, in the session? I don't know how long we've got left in the uh, 45. session. 44 seconds. So he might do. He's got he time. Gets past, he gets yeah. passed by Eston Bar, was it, with no front wing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Minico. Oh, Minico. Oh, I don't know where that was either. I, I think it's just in this huge pile of cars coming up now. This is wild. Who 
who can try and get through this to try and get a time set. But they all want to take the back at the same time too. 18 seconds to go and they're all going to run a Supply Raptor goes quickest. 51-2. <laughs> the kerfuffle is strong. Marcus Libs will have somebody right behind him. I think it, it's not Esteban. It's uh, it's the other Haas, I think. Uh, No, it's not. It can't be Snake. No, it's an Alpha Romeo. Which one is that? I think it might be either Throat Yurger or Sketchy Bull, who's right up behind him. And he's going to have a draft going through over his Radeon, and he's probably going to try to pass him. It's Sketchy Bull. He fine. Marcus lives in this qualifying. He might. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do right here. And this is such a tough spot for him to be in. Oh, no. He's not going to be happy. Sketchy Bull's going to go for it on a qualifying lap. Marcus Libs will not be stoked here. Yep, that was not the move, Sketchy Bull. They're both technically allowed to fight. But wow, this is absolute scenes here as Marcus Libs currently still out qualifying Cookie, even if it was just to end right now. But Cookie's obviously on a hot one. And Marcus Libs uh, needs to improve. Cookie is improving. He's up almost a full second. Sketchable's up over a second. What about Marcus Libs? Where's he got right here? I'm not sure. Now he's gapped out uh, Sketchable to a decent extent. Yeah, just enough to the point. I don't think he's going to get pissed up again. There goes El Taco Jack with another fast one, a 50.5. That's the time to beat now. Uh, dude, this is so wild. This is going to... This is huge implications for the championship if Marcus does not get a good enough qualifying to stay ahead of Cookie, I think. Yeah, needs himself... Uh, what are we on here? Three what? seconds. How? Three, needs, more, needs more. Needs more. Needs more. But the thing is, he's gonna he, need another second. He probably lost almost a full second in that battle with Sketchy Bull. Yeah. Oh no, Sketchy Bull. Oh man, that is one way to make an enemy. And Drix in the forty nine. Wow. I will see what uh, Marcus has got here in the final sector. It could be a could be an absolute heater. He's gonna go for it. Marcus Lips <laughs> won't get it. He's going to be best seven. Sketchy Bull will beat him out on Outrageous. that lap. Oh, dude, Outrageous. that is that is going to be bad. And Cookie has gotten himself into third. That is huge. Three drivers into the 49s. Esteban not going to do it. That's qualifying done. Oh, my gosh. Drix with our pole position here for the night. Minico comes up in second. And Cookie <clears> into third. Xylo in fourth. Chazzy in fifth. Jack in sixth. Whoa, what an absolute stonker right there. Uh, Sketchy Bull in seventh. Marcus in eighth. And... We both know Marcus is going to send the literal crap out of him uh, through turn one. There's no way he stays behind. No way he stays behind. Uh, Throat Yogurt in ninth, and Spy Raptor rounds out our top ten. Turtle in 11th. City of R in 12th. Turtle was looking strong, but unfortunate back half of qualifying for him. Uh, City of R in 12th. Giants in 13th. Esteban in 14th. Snakey in 15th. Tachubi in 16th. Gamer in 17th. Eruption in 18th. Sebi in 19th. And Ketchin rounds out our grid. Dude. I mean, Andy. What? What a wild, wild... That That is the wildest qualification session we've seen all season. And you know what? I know Minico would have been in a good position to help his teammate, but he's got that five-place grid penalty Correct. to serve. Look and he's how... only 6,000. I was going to say. Dude, look at how fast That's he is. Tricks. That's incredible. To be that close to Drix, I, dude, he's going to be so pissed that he has to serve a grid penalty on this one, man. There's probably yeah, going to be nothing sure, more man. infuriating than getting a second-place qualifying and realizing, just kidding, that's seventh. However, I think that's going to put him in the firing zone of Marcus Libs. Yeah, for sure. For sure. More, seven, yeah. seven drivers didn't get to set a time on the inters there at the end. Wow. Eston Bar, Snake, Keita, Chubi, uh, Gamer, Eruption, Sebi, and Ketchin, their quickest laps. And you can tell just by mm -hmm. looking at the times in the 55s there, only setting times on the wet tire due to the excessive traffic we saw at the end. Yes, yes, it's going to be wild. Uh, I am scared out of my mind. Uh, this is going to be uh, wild. <laughs> oh, boy. It is going to be wild, but it is also going to be a dry start. Okay, okay. I thought it was going to be a wet start. It's looking dry. It's looking a little bit murky, but I don't see any rain falling at present. Oh, my gosh. This is wild. This is going to be nutty. I am not ready, but I'm so ready. Oh, my golly gee. Good luck to everybody. So many people decided to run wet wings as well. Uh, so. Ooh -wee. A weather report. Yeah, weather report in chat. Rain at the end okay. of the race, Punju. That's coming direct from the paddock from our good friend, Rich Sebi. 
Okay. Okay, so you never know. I mean, it could uh, it could end up happening. You never know. I'm gonna I'm pulling up the uh, the standings right now on my on my phone again just to double check this. Remember, it's all about this Cookie versus Marcus Libs thing. It's a nine point gain that Marcus needs tonight, and after that qualifying, I'm sure he's gonna feel quite dejected. But we don't have to wait long to see what's gonna happen here. I hear the blinking. I hear the clicking. It's about ready to go racing here in tier one for the penultimate round of season 10. Are you guys ready? Because I sure am. Two, three, four, five lights are on. And they're off and it is race time here with a really good launch from it looks like the uh, cookie. Whoa, launching up the outside, trying to take the outside line. I think you might actually have it. Maybe will. Oh, oh my gosh, no, Oh cookie. no. Oh, huge moment for Cookie. I think he may have just clipped away. Oh, he's going to turn right in on his teammate. Almost crashes it out with his teammate. And Cookie is getting gobbled alive right now. This is horrible. Zylo and Trix fighting it. Cookie trying to hold off that outside line. Something he could not get packed up by, uh, by Supply Raptor, but Supply Raptor is going to take him as well. Almost nails into the back of a Taco Jack, but good was a really good breaking zone right there. Cookie, though, in terrible spot. Marcus Libs is sniffing. You can see him. He's right here in ninth. Decent start for him. I know he wants to do better. He's already down one position, though. Cookie down five, though. Biggest loser at the start. Besides Master Turtle down eight. Biggest gainers. Eruption up six. In the back of the oh my gosh, that's Cookie. He's going to be joined. <gasps> oh. oh my god. I wow. am speechless. I am genuinely speechless. And no yeah, safety got, car out of that either. No safety car. We got Xylo out in front at the moment, missing an end plate in front of not just his teammate Drix, but also Chazzy Bot in the Mercedes. Oh. Lap one, the top eight runners all on the medium tire. We've then got a host of um, soft runners. Uh, yes. Five of them, in fact. City Bar, Eruption, Tatubi, Ketchen, and Rich Sebi with a couple of hard runners as well in Eston Bar and Giants fan. Giants fan and Cookie coming together then. On wow. One. On I'm two. impressed with Chad's about. Oh, someone's dropping. Oh, sketchable. He's backwards on track. Oh. Oh, watch your rejoin. Carbon He's got fiber two park everywhere. Lines. Okay, looks like he didn't park for too oh long. Oh my God. Turn one. Murder's Whoa. happening. Cars all over the road. There's I... fiberglass everywhere. <laughs> and no safety car still. I promise you it's on, guys. That's crazy. Ketcha getting absolutely clobbered through turn one. Yeah, look at that. He's going to be going off track right there. He is in the thick of it. Estenba and Eruption having a little bit of a scuffle down the line. It's going to be Estenba coming out uh, behind Eruption. And again, look at the top. Look at Chazzy, dude. Tier 2 driver hanging it up at the front end with Drix and Zylo. The two are going to be, you know, it's the fastest constructor here in Tier 1, in my opinion. Uh, they are really really good those two drivers when they decide to put it down and look at them they're fighting a little bit too it's a green on green battle oh my god gonna go side by the side into this corner no way and it's a back out actually from uh xylo decides to let his homie through and i'll talk with jack surprising everybody sitting in fifth but marcus libs lurking in sixth he's clap he's catching up to this uh train in front of him ever so slightly <laughs> dude what yeah, is going on here I'm, well marcus now will have seen the Red Bull of Cookie tumbling down to the very bottom of the classifications today as he looks Speaking to try and make Bull. a move on Minico. And there he goes, down Blanchemont on the inside, trying to get himself, sorry, around the outside of Blanchemont. Oh. Has to concede. Wow. But he's going to go late breaking into the bus stop chicane. He looks like he's taking that line. Decided to just fake him out instead, is what it looked like. His teammates got to be careful behind him, though. Eruption obviously does want to make a move as well. But uh, this is insane, man. This is some spicy, spicy driving. Oh, a bit of a late break from Eruption as well. It scares the heck out of me. But there's five seconds for uh, Snakeki speeding in the pit lane. Yeah, a lot of people must have lost their wings or something like that. And El Taco Jacks made his way past Chazzy Bot. What? Did he do? This dude is coming out swinging. And I think Chazzy Bot's going to end up getting him here. Yeah, it's uh, burned all of his ERS. Jack's already down to 5%. He's like, I just need it to survive and get myself up here. And now he's losing <laughs> it all. That was a little bit early, I think. He 
Yeah, he got a little too excited. I think these first opening laps and used up a lot of energy. But it's a big train here. It's a, it's a nine car train here to the start. And then of course, Rich Sebi makes the second train, which is another six cars. Two, three, four, four cars, excuse me. So uh, some, some trains, some little pods here. Unfortunately, Catching Cookie, Giants fan, Snakey, City of Art, Gamer, all pretty far out of this one. And Sketchable as well. Pretty far out. Uh, yeah, a long way back for those guys. It's a long way back. Um, but knowing the championship leader in uh, Cookie, all it will take is some good, consistent driving and a little bit of luck, maybe with a safety car. Yep, and there goes uh, El Taco Jack in a very unconventional spot. Grabs third. Oh, he's got a collision behind him. Marcus Lips is going to make for it. He's going to go for the outside line of Minico. He's going to take it. He's going to get it. That's an incredible move for Marcus Lips. Oh, no. Oh, Minico. Oh, no. There's your safety car. Collected Minico by eruption. Race. That was entirely collected by eruption. I oh, my gosh. That was a big boy. Right here, coming out of this corner, Minico and eruption make a little moment. And uh, it looks like front left and rear right just had a had a handshake, and that handshake never ends in peace. It always ends in war. That was rough, man. That was a big one. I'm surprised more people didn't get collected out of that one. That's wild. Now, a lot of yeah, people having to make sure. interesting strategy calls. Uh, the top five decided to stay out. Esteban, Marcus, Chazzy, Jack, and Drix. Jack can be fast, but he can be wild. And, I mean, he's showing that fast today. It seems to be most like a relatively controlled wild. Uh, so while uh, the Red Bull team though, just having a really rough day today. Bro, yogurt, you've thrown on some inters, my friend. It's five minutes to rain. I just heard. Five minutes, okay. Five minutes to rain is not a long time when you've got a safety car rain. That could be That's an absolute genius, a stroke of genius or an enormous mistake. It's it, give or take. Five minutes under safety car pace is about, it's just about two two laps. Yeah. Uh, however, it depends whether our friend Mark has got the weather report right. That's the real question, right? I think these guys, Zylo and up, should pit this next lap. Everybody behind them that just got in the softs and stuff like that are going to be in a rough position. Throat yogurt, yeah. if he's really good uh, at. Uh, at managing these inters on dry conditions, which is very hard to do, he'll be in a great position as well. But he's got to get really lucky. He needs that sprinkle to start coming down, and he needs it to be a torrential sprinkle. Uh, and I just, I don't yeah. know, man. It doesn't look that overcast, does it? No, I, I don't think it looks too different to the start of the race, quite frankly. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, um, if, not a, if not a little bit brighter, in fact. Yeah. Also, a chassis... We know that, that five minute that five-minute rule... It can turn into 10 and 15 minutes, in which case throat yogurt will be cooked. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, by the way, Chazzy uh, is coming in the chat. He's like, genuinely, what is going on? I'm sure he's shocked that he's sitting in third right now. Uh, yeah, that was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. I think uh, I'm curious what happened with Minico. I think Marcus's move was pretty was just smart. It was an outside run. It was fair, but I think that, that allowed yeah. that that made Minico and Eruption get in a bad spot. I think Eruption maybe didn't back out quick enough. Uh, or just maybe it was just being a little bit too aggressive. I'm not sure. Uh, it looked pretty clean for Marcus's first one, but I think right yeah. after that, it may have put Minico off pace, and then Eruption maybe made a bit, a bit of a bad judgment call, potentially. I'm not sure, though. We'll have to you yeah, know, find I out in the so. instant reports. Yeah, it would be... Uh, I'd, I'd have to see the onboard, um, yeah. I think, from uh, oh. Eruption. It looked... Uh, and here comes Throat Yogurt. He's back in the pits, realizing that he may well have made a slight error of judgment. Uh, so Jim's call of it's alpha time has been reversed. Jim. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is now not alpha time. However, people behind him are going in for greens. No, they're going in for fresh softs. Oh, what the heck's going on, dude? What is going on? The weather. Well, if weather, if is weather's wild. on the way, it's soft tires now. Yeah, seems like it. Uh, City of R. Yeah, I agree with the soft tires right now. Uh, however, you know, Drix. Inters. Oh, City's gone Ninters? Yep. Uh, what? <laughs> what is there going? may well be some confusion in the pit lane. Yeah. This is an interesting race to start out. Uh, I will say Cookie, for all of his luck for getting that safety car at the, uh, at uh, you know, when he did, 
He's still only an 18th because he just had to repit and get back on softs for a second set. So I think he's whatever luck he did have, it's got that does look like AI. Uh look at the way he's breaking and, and gassing. Is Cookie an AI? Uh I don't know. Look at that. That's sputtering. Oh, that's yeah. absolutely he's an AI. Feathering. Yeah, can can you try to invite him? Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, that's the definition of an AI. Yeah, well, that's an AI right there. 100% an AI. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, by the way, I just want to make a little bit of a mention there to those in chat. Uh, please try your best to not talk about incidents in the chat and be rude to each other. Yay. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Ultimate says uh, I do that on controller. Yeah, right, you do. You don't. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You don't. You don't try to, you know, trigger finger it like it's a paintball gun. Like, what are you doing, man? That's that's literally what he's doing. We do have the safety car coming in this lap, so we're not far away from going green again, Punchy. That's true. Also, this now looks like a normal human being driving. So actually, maybe he's not uh, an AI. We'll see what happens, man. This is going to be interesting. Trix with the restart. Trix, always a tricky restarter here. He has never won to show his cards early. He always wants to leave it up to uh, up to some chance and, and make it a little bit uh, interesting on these restarts. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Um. Oh, good restart for him. He's going to go a little bit before the end to bus up. Remember, nobody will be able to pass going into bus stop. So it will force a lot of people to go nice and slow and hold station, even though they really don't want to. Uh... But there it goes, Esteban with a pretty good launch actually on the hards. Really good launch right there. Zylo, of course, uh, and everybody behind him are all going to be wanting to make some positions up. City of R somehow gets past the right going into the final corner. I don't know, but there's some big gaps uh, behind Cookie. Look at Cookie. He's three seconds out. Ketchin and Gamer going side by side. No way they hold this. Going up to turn one. Yeah, they won't. I think Ketchin's probably going to back out of this one for Gamer. Just kidding. Hold on a second. Ketchin says no. Let me hang out. No, he backs up. Oh, he's going to get backed out. He's going to get taken over by Snakey as well. Snakey! Takes advantage of a nice move from catching out. Oh, almost causes the oh. huge collision. Whoa. Maybe getting a little bit too comfortable with the niceties from catching. Whoa. And catching's probably not going to want to let him have that one. Oh, he's going to have to, but there's a sprinkle. Andy, I saw yeah. a single sprinkle. Yeah. Just one, though. It's a slow sprinkle. Just the one. Just a single sprinkies. I mean, I want it. I want it soon. But the longer that it goes, the better it is for all these people that decided to put on the softs. The worse <laughs> it is for all these top five guys, top six technically, uh, that all decided to stay out. Esteban and up. Supply Raptor chasing down that hard tired Esteban right now. And it's, it's still really, really, really slow sprinkies. It's just not enough to have, you know, stayed on the, to start on the inters though. Everyone's gonna have to pit anyways. It's, yeah. yeah, it's too slow. But remember, this is a two minute lap almost. So. Stuff changes really fast. Speaking of something about to change, it might be a position changing from Zylo to Marcus Libs. Zylo is right up on the back of Marcus Libs. He is getting in a uh, a very close look at that tailpipe. I don't think he needs a microscope to see inside that thing anymore. That is a close look, and he's going to make a look at an inside. Not going to do it. <gasps> Marcus! Oh, well, no! freaks the heck out of himself. Oh, no. And he catches right there. He's going to go ahead and take a moment to go in right now. Probably going to put on the inters ASAP. I think he might have some broken wings. Had to be smart about how he gets in here. Five seconds. No, Marcus! Wow. Oh, no. The championship takes another twist. Oh, a big one. No front wing added, so just enters then. Sketchy Bull's going to DNF. Sketchy Bull's out. Safety car. No oh freaking God. way. Marcus Libs just became the luckiest human being to walk the face of this earth. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that is wild. We were stuck in the pits. What, what I did not first six and a half laps we've had. I know. City of R will lead, by the way, I think. Because it looks like the gap isn't big enough. Yeah, seven seconds. That pit stop is more than seven seconds. More than 11 seconds, even, with Marcus Libs away from uh, from the top ends of maybe like 16 seconds. If we go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the leaders. It's 22 seconds. I think it's longer than 22 seconds, even under safety car. Isn't it? Uh, what, the pit stop? Yeah. Uh, Even under safety car? I think it might be. Dude, this is 
wild. I do not yeah, know that... if Marcus has a, uh, a uh, what's it called, um, a broken wing. However, Marcus also has a tough has a tough move to do right here. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Marcus is going to be uh, up near the front here. I think these guys may well get in and out. Yeah, they might. Seventeen seconds to uh, City of R. City of R may well lead. Dude, I don't know what's going on here. This is a. Uh, I think I think the problem is yeah, Marcus needs to pit and serve a penalty. Yeah. So he's kind of required to make this pit stop and serve this fiver. Yeah, yeah. But he's got his teammate in front of him as well. His teammate should clear out of the box though in time. Yep, drivers are going in right now. I think you're right. I don't think that uh, Marcus will catch them even if he decide not to go in. I'm just watching for any penalties. Uh, Tachubi decides to stay out. What in the world is this guy doing? What? Does he not look? Oh, eruptions deep in the pits. He's decided to retire. Oh no. Wow. Oh no. That means Marcus. he's gonna be sat there. Marcus Mar didn't go in. He did not. He has to slow down for his delta. He probably just got a huge delta right there. Whoa. I don't know what, what's gonna happen here. Marcus, where's he gonna come out? Behind almost everybody. Behind Cookie. Oh, it barely behind gets in front of Gamer. Cookie. But he is behind Cookie, you're right. Wow. And he's still got about five seconds to serve. I know. Chazzy, dude, Chazzy put on fresh softs. Estima put on fresh mediums. What are these kids doing? They are insane. Great fresh hearts. I know. Wow. What are these guys doing? I mean, it, they could be playing it and saying, hey, it's going to be light rain. It's not worth it. We'll be fine. Mm -hmm. it, it'll dry up, you know, the last 10 laps or, or last five laps. You never know. It could be genius what they're doing right here. Well, it's been raining for quite some time now. And... I, there's no spray off the back of the car. Nothing. There's certainly no indication of the rain hitting the track. I always find that, um, certainly when we're under safety car conditions, yeah, that the real telltale sign for intermediates is when the rain, you can see it splashing on the track, and we can't see that right now. I know. It's also for me... It is dry. I look for puddles as well, and I don't see a single no. puddle out there. Nothing even close to a puddle. Yeah, it isn't, nope. it isn't even like light spray. It's just straight up nothing behind these tires. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know, dude. This is as wild of a of a weather system as possible. It's it's testing these drivers, uh, big time when it comes to their ability to adapt. This is a very slow crossover, as Henry had, had says. Yeah, it's extremely slow, much slower than usual. Uh, but. It's, like, I'm seeing the lightest bit of gloss on the track, which is usually my sign. Like, okay, yeah, it's getting there. Mm -hmm. But it's so light of a gloss. Like, I don't know, dude. What Do you think they're ever going to cross over at this rate? Well, uh, if it stays like this, no. Because right. it is the rain is so light. And yeah. you know the other thing as well? It's, it, it's coming straight down. Exactly. No wind, no nothing. Normally, normally, when we get a little bit of inclement weather... You do see the rain as it gets heavier start to go slightly diagonal across the screen. That's true. One question, is Marcus going to pit right now and just surface fight? Yeah, there he goes. But here's the question. Is he going to get on dry tires? A lot of people are deciding to go in. He should be obviously serving as five. Maybe he has a wing change he can finally get done. But uh, will he get on dries is the question. That's his five-second penalty right here. He's getting on dries. I see softs. Dude. Yeah. This could be this could be a master stroke as well. Now, the championship rival has stayed out on the intermediates, and still no spray behind these cars. Safety car will go in at the end of this lap. I guarantee you, they'll catch up. So, it just depends how well can they manage. El Taco Jack, Zylo, Turtle, Gamer, Giants fan, and Marcus Libs all opting to pit this lap and put back on some uh, some dry weather tires. Still yet to see a spray. Still yet to see a puddle. Seeing nothing. You'll leave, you will see spray under safety car as well. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have your particles turned up to max, by the way? I'm on an Xbox, dude. We don't even know what particles oh. mean. So no matter what, you get them. So uh, yeah, I have my yeah, particles. I have my particles turned down decently. So usually I only see it when it really hits that crossover. Uh, and so I'm not seeing it. So I'm not even seeing like the lightest inclination of like, oh yeah, it's coming. 
Uh, dude, this is so freaking weird. This is so weird. Yeah. The most dynamic part of this race is not a single driver out there. It's Mother Nature. And she is saying, hey, I feel like chaos today. Let's make you guys think and use your, uh, use your noggins more than you used to. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm so intrigued to see what's going to happen with these front runners. If Drix and Tachubi are going to run away from City of Art. That's my big question. Especially, and same thing with Chassis and Estenbaugh. Are they going to pull out and make a move on City pretty quickly? Uh, that's going to be the yeah. you know, real telltale sign. Yeah, for sure. And we, we are not even at half race distance yet. <laughs> Got so much more chaos to go. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, this is going to be so fun. I think the softs were the move right now, if I was to pick. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd have I'd have pitted probably for enters on a safety car. Yeah. I would have expected the rain. The rain is getting a little bit heavier. It is. Tachubi is uh, running a bit of a, a, a speedy... Uh, safety car. 90 miles an hour is faster than most people ever go under safety car. Most people will drop it down to 50, 60. Uh, but Tachubi's sticking on the 90 mile an hour mark. He's going to go slow down now. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that, Tachubi. you got to pick a speed and stick with it for the entire time. But uh, neither here nor there. If, uh, if a team principal wants to protest that, there you go. Uh, let's see what Tachubi's going to do here coming out of the safety car. When's he going to hit that loud pedal? I'm curious when he goes. Comes to the bus stop. There he is. Mid bus stop. Yeah. Mid bus stop. Trying to oh. rely on that grip. It looks like it was good enough grip. Oh, someone's dropping Snakey. Gone in the pits. Snakey going back in the pits. Look at, dude, they just flew past City of R. City of R is getting absolutely dusted by Chazzy on the inside there into turn one as well. Whoa, yeah, the inters were not the move. All these dry tire runners are cooking right now. El Taco Jack's already up the move on Throat Yogurt. It's going to be sketchy in the back. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Yep. Throat Yogurt have to give up another one. Master Turtle. It's going to be so fast. The Rouge riding on. they got to be careful here. And it's gonna be dangerous. Up oh, there it is. Yep. Knew it. I literally knew it. And now all these drivers that made the master class are gonna move themselves up to the front. I do not know how this is gonna work. That was a hundred percent a master turtle getting too aggressive. He knew he had the tire advantage. He did not slow down for an inter's wet or an inter's tire runner in front of him. And Master Turtle has smoked himself into the wall. Oh, dude, that's rough. Andy. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know what. Is this race going to finish tonight? I don't know, man. This is insanity. It's not like one of those things where it's just like a safety car every lap. It's just that it's so weird that there's no way to predict what to do. Chazzy obviously made up all the positions he needed to do, and I was in a great spot. He's sitting in uh, third on those yeah. uh, on those softs. The inters that everyone's running right now are going to start wearing out, so if somebody pits in front of them, they're pretty much at a point where they're all going to want to pit anyways to get some fresh inters. So, like, I think it's kind of business as it is right here when it comes to the grid. And as of right now, of course, Cookie looks really strong to seal the championship over Marcus Libs. Marcus Libs has to somehow find his way from 14th to a win, effectively, uh, and needs to well, outscore he's just gonna, by nine points. He's, he's got to hope that this, um, this rain continues at this rate and doesn't get any heavier. I know. If it stays like this glossy light sprinkle, uh, it's going to be such a weird, weird race. Yeah, what are these guys in the front going to do? I'm just curious what Drex is going to do. He's opting not to pit. Tachubi goes in, though. Chassis does go in as well. Esteban okay. stays out. Sebi. Interesting. City is going to go in. Cookie is going to go in as well. Marcus is going to stay out. Wow. Dude, I don't know, man. I don't see, uh, I don't see spray still. I However, think there's just a lot of there's a lot of really confused drivers out there right now. Yeah, they are, dude. They have no because clue there's what two to do. there's two confused commentators sat in the comms box. <laughs> and we should have quote unquote more information. <laughs> yeah, we definitely <laughs> do not. Uh, this is insanity. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Also, yeah, what the heck? Sebi's in a podium spot right now, by the way, guys. Though he is on slightly used inters, and he's probably going to get chewed up alive if this rain does not increase. It looks like it's dead steady since it started. It's yeah, mildly... We've just, we've, I think we've just had a complete swap over. The guys that were on Inters went on softs. City of Art was on softs, went back onto Inters. Tachubi has gone on yeah. to Inters. Nobody knows who's going to be the smart one at this point. No. There's... Oh! <laughs> Tachubi almost became the silly one. Spitting himself out under safety car. 
Oh, Erickson almost hit him, if you know what I mean. That was, uh, <laughs> that was a bit of a rough one right there. What? I mean, Marcus is sitting in ninth now because a bunch of people just went into the pits. So he's back in the top 10. Cookie decided to go into the pits. He's now down to 14th. Marcus currently is leading, obviously, in that battle. And he will have a tire advantage over everybody in front of him. Because these two lap old yep. softs have hardly taken any beating. Since it's wet, it's taking even less beating. Uh, they're not gripping as much. They're staying colder. So, <laughs> I mean, you've got to you gotta say he's in with a chance. Yeah, there, and, there's definitely a chance. And Cookie, if Marcus pits, Cookie pits because they're both on dry tires. Yeah. So, could be. We could just be in for a slightly sprinkly race for the next 11 laps, technically. It yeah, in could. which case, it'll just be uh, whoever can manage the uh, the slightly greasy surface. And I, I got money on Marcus for that one, honestly. This dude is a phenom when it comes to weird, grippy stuff. He's good on old tires. He's good at, like, adapting and, and they feeling the change in the car overlap, stuff like that. I mean, I don't know. But, however, he did obviously have a big moment where he uh, locked up the brakes and ended up spinning himself out uh into the bus stop as well so yeah it's gotta be careful somebody's <laughs> yellow someone says pit for full wet no balls <laughs> yeah that's the only compound we're missing right now yeah we've seen every other one supply raptor's gonna go in what's supply raptor doing dude what in the world are these guys doing they have they no know. idea what anybody's doing anymore yeah they have absolutely no idea to tubies in as well yeah He's going to put on some uh, some red ones. Dude, what? Yeah. also putting on red boys. So those two will drop themselves down to the back. That's going to make uh, Marcus Lins make up another position. And we see Master Turtle coming into the pit, uh, coming into the chat and saying apologies to the Alfa Romeo of Sketchy Ball. It was his fault. That's sweet of you, Turtle. I appreciate you doing that. Um, it's good sportsmanship. Taking ownership whenever you make a mistake. Rich Sebian Ketchen in a rough spot. Sitting on enters. I don't know what they're going to do. What if, for whatever reason, by the end of this lap, it just gets torrential? And then they're in, like, this oh, ridiculously good spot, and they just clear the grid. Yet, I mean, you never oh. know. You never know at this point, dude. I don't even... I can't ever guess at this point what's going to happen. Still yet to have any more uh, any more rain. It's, it's still so light. No, uh, no spray, no nothing. No. We'll see. Who do you think is in the best position right now? Assuming the rain stays exactly like this, who's the best position? Marcus. You think so? Marcus, for sure. Those mediums if could take us to like the end. This, Marcus. Uh, yeah, but saying that Marcus, he's got three laps on them, but hasn't really done anything. I know. They're basically zero lap old softs. And he's going to... Oh, maybe like one lap, effectively, worth of, of wear. He's going to have to take them long, though. I'm like, that's a hard, hard ass to go 10 laps, effectively, on those things. That's rough. I think Estenbaugh and Jack are in really, really good spots. And obviously, we know Drix is a hard tire whisperer. He's so magical on those things. So uh, he's in a good spot, too. I don't know. Dude. Anyone's game? We're going to find out Anyone's real soon. Game. Safety car's coming in. I am extremely excited. Drix, once again, will be restarting us here in, uh, in this penultimate round of Season 10. And he's going to take that 60 mile an hour choice. He's going to stay consistent. Uh, I know he'll just hang out of that 60. Just trundle along. Look at it. It looks so funny looking at this camera. Like when they're at 60 miles an hour versus when they're going top speed. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks so slow. That's highway speeds. Like, what did you do on the fastest yeah. highway? It looks like nothing. Yeah. And they're just trundling along 72 miles an hour. Oh. Is Drix going to go early again, do you think? Uh, I think he'll go I'd, I'd decent early. I'd I think he's going to go mid-corner. With two intermediate runners behind me, acting as like a champagne cork, oh, I would true. be wanting... Oh, I can see sprinkles on the track. I see sprinkles on the track. No way, not right now. Yeah. On the restart, I can Do see this. rain hitting the track. Oh my gosh, there's no... It did look pretty fast going into that corner right there. Oh, Giants fan is going to get in a huge moment right there. That's five wide effectively going through turn one. What are these guys doing? Oh my gosh, guys, just live. Just live. This is insanity. 
Great view right here from Snakey. He's going to watch everything going down in front of him. Oh, that's Williams. Marcus done. Ketchin just got absolutely done in right there. Somebody did him so dirty, and that's a full safety car again. Snakey just passed under safety car. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Snakey. Uh-oh, Snakey. Everybody's going to go to the pits. Cookie has gapped out in front of Marcus, and Marcus will be forced to go pit. Yeah, well, no front wing. Yeah. Dude, how did he how did he live through that? He clapped Ketchin at dang near full speed. I do not know how he's alive right now. I mean, no, yeah, he's got he, he has to roll the dice for interest at this point, but I I think some people will stay out on the dries. Yeah. Um well, this is what the third safety car. I think number 4 if I recall correctly. Fourth safety car. So we're running out of safety cars. I know. One more. After this. Let's see how many stops people have had. Dude, well, yeah, good. there we go. Gamer, five stops. Yeah. Four for throat yogurt, snaky, cookie, giants fan. Wow. Well, yeah, our safety car uh, driver, Bert Mylander, is, uh, is getting a serious uh, work. He's getting a lot of track time today. He really is. I think he's uh, led more laps than anybody so far. Oh, I think so, for sure. Now, the question is, honestly, what does Trix do? That will tell the entire grid what to do. Yeah. Oh, ho, he stays out. They are yeah, convinced. About. And Jack is not convinced. He says, no, take me in. Cookie stays out. Marcus has to alternate that strategy. He has to take the interns at this point and just hope that it's going to work out for him. He has yeah, to. Yeah, he's he just going to hope. I mean, what's he going to do? He's going to go right. Uh, he's got to try and he's, uh, yeah, he's throwing some softs back on. I mean, he's going to come out in second to last. Uh, Setar has counted one left, or one safety car remaining. So, uh, everybody that went into the pits except for Supply Raptor decided to put on dry tires. Because not a single person in this lobby knows what to do. I love this, dude. This is incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh this is so good Sebi says the rain's getting harder mm, could be Sebi hopes the rain's getting, getting harder the, uh, actually I think is what he's saying <laughs> yeah for sure for sure if, I mean if the rain does get a little bit harder Rich Sebi is in a magnificent spot yes oh yeah big time I will, we'll see, man. This is a, this is quite a safety car race, though. I mean, even Tier 3 had a lot less than this. This is incredible. It's just this variable condition. It's just so hard for everybody to predict what to do. Uh, Setar's about to uh, give us a, a theoretical question. What's the question, Setar? Uh, also, Yellow Snowman says, I wish I was racing in this. Well, Yellow Snowman, don't worry. You'll be racing in this tier next season. <laughs> yeah. Yay. You wish, and therefore you shall have, sir. Welcome back to Tier 1 next season. Yeah, Centaur says that uh, Tier 6 only had 8 to 9 green flag laps. That's interesting. Sebi's back to Copium. Wow. He says track is getting glossy. I think it's Copium from Sebi. I don't think it's real. I, I, <laughs> I'll put it out there. I think he's just saying it because he's on the enters and he's seeing what he wants, not because it's actually what's happening. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He, he, he's that, I think that's called the law of attraction. <laughs> that's exactly what it is, man. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not seeing it get any heavier. It looks it looks identical to what it's been like, but hold on a second. Hold up, though. Yeah. Is it working on me too? Because I'm kind of seeing yeah, it get a little it heavier too. It is. It looks. I I can't see it coming out of the sky heavier, but it seems to be hitting the track heavier. I'm seeing I'm seeing spots on the ground. Yeah. Is Sebi about to lead a race? Drick stays out. I mean, I think Marcus has a tough choice to make. He needs to decide whether to gamble. I need to understand why that safety car Whoa, didn't bad in. safety car entry right there from El Taco Jack and Zylo. Oh, my gosh. That was extremely unsafe entry from El Taco Jack. Oh, no. He's going to get himself in an instant right there. That was... I saw that one clear as day. Oh, no. He will put on some uh, some enters, though. Both the Williams drivers are going to go ahead and go for the enters to Chuby. He's going to get off the enters, and he gets back on him. Uh... 
I think the copium might have uh, have worked. I think it's I think it's there. Oh yeah. No, this is the first time I can say this track is different. Look at that, dude. That's different. There's a visible yeah, dry is. line. There's a visible sheen and dry line to this track now. Yeah. Ah, uh, we're there. Marcus missed his opportunity of a lifetime, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going to be so mad at himself for not taking that one. Had he gone in, he'd be, honestly, my favorite to win this race. Had he gone in. Right there. But is Cookie just going to stick it out? Probably. I think so. I think he's pot committed. But I think there's going to be a fifth safety car, in which case Marcus has to make up positions before he gets that because Cookie will go in on that next safety car. So... If he wants to get lucky off of this, he has to make a bold strategy call. A really bold strategy call. Right here, notice there is a soft runner behind an inter runner, which is uh, Marcus lives behind Supply Raptor and Gamer behind City of R. And then Giants fan behind Sebi as well is going to be awkward going up a Rouge Rally on. Giants fan Sebi, I'm pretty, com I, I think they're good. Uh, Marcus and Supply Raptor, I have got faith. I don't have too much faith with that Gamer City of R pairing. Do you? Uh, right now? Yeah. Not at the minute, no. No, nope, that's uh, too much. Uh, yeah. Mm. Stage cars in. Okay, We're about to find to out, dip. Andy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to dip for one second, bud. Oh yeah, you're good. You're good. Uh, this is gonna be wild. Yan, I don't think anybody's gonna run out of tires. I don't think you can run out of inters. Drix has the hardest job in the world right now. He's spent so much time leading this race. Uh, this is going to be wicked, dude. This is going to be so wild. He's going a little bit faster of a safety car when start this time around. He's varied his speeds. I like it, dude. Oh, you can run out with four sets? No one's going to use four sets of inters. No way. Tricks very easily slowing down the pack here. Take a wide line entry. He's going to hit that loud puddle. There he goes. Drake's good launch right there. Bad launch from Sebi. Hold on a second. It might not be the move right there. City Bar and Gamer are side by side right here. Already going into turn one. I said this was a dangerous pairing right here. I knew it. It's going to be dangerous. Look at the launch from Gamer. He says, give me that outside line. It's still going to be side by side. Oh, no. Don't be side by side here. City Bar will have to give it up. The softs are better. Marcus Libs all the way up to 10th right now. Holy smokes. But Cookie, remember, he's up into fourth. He is flying. And watch the power difference, or watch the grip differential. It's actually not that much between Supply Raptor and Marcus. They're dang near even. City of R going to make a move on Gamer. It's going to be done and dust for City of R. Nice job from him. And that's going to be Gamer losing another one. Gamer running much higher wings than everybody. I know that for sure. This is going to be bonkers, man. Oh, no, Gamer and Throat Yogurt almost come together right there. Gamer having way better exit right there than Throat Yogurt. We're going to send it down the inside into a really difficult corner to send it, but it looks like he's going to have it done. He will. Supply after almost getting advantageous, but he's not going to do it. Sebi getting passed up again. Sebi is in a terrible position. These uh, dry tires are doing work for these drivers up at the front. They are able to manage this uh, difficult, glossy track quite well. Looks like Marcus Libs in 10th right here. Needs to make a move on. He needs to get past the play after as quickly as he can. And, of course, in front of Throat Yogurt as well, who's looking mighty slow. Actually, Marcus Libs is going to get sent in the inside by Tachubi, who comes out of nowhere. Oh, no. Marcus and Tachubi. They will be side by side going into Tachubi. Oh, boy. Marcus has to back out of this one. Yep. Going to take that inside and just go ahead and let that one happen. He says it's just not quite worth it here. Safety car. Oh. Yellow flag in the back. Drix and Essenbach swapping positions there. Impressive. We got a move right here. Supply Raptor just barely behind Throat Yogurt. Yellow flag in the back still. It's Ketchin. Oh, no. Ketchin having a rough spot right here. Huge send from Supply Raptor. Going to make it down the inside. Oh, really well done down the inside. That was actually incredible. Way big rip. Oh, no. It's a pile up. And Marcus barely gets uh, gets out of that thing alive. So Throat Yogurt also getting some bad uh, contact there. Marcus going to lose another spot to Silo. He's getting chewed up here on these softs. Looks like it's just not quite good enough to be able to be competitive. Marcus is falling down the timetables like crazy. And you got Cookie, his championship rival, who's holding down third. Strong and steady. Sebi obviously sitting there in fifth. He's the bottleneck for everybody. Gamer right here, right behind City Bar. They're having a nice little tussle. Oh, this is a good one right here. It's tier two versus tier, uh, now tier one. Was moved up from last season. This is going to be an interesting one here. The breaking differential going into 
uh, that corner right there. I think it's turn six. Uh, it's definitely big. Oh my gosh, yeah, Gamer definitely has the overspeed on the grip on exit. Oh, Gamer gonna have a huge run down the inside here. It's gonna get a little bit of contact. Mild the RG Barge, but I think City of Art will just decide to hang on the outside. Yeah, he will. Let's it go. Let's him through. City of Art has his teammate supply wrapped right behind him who's gonna wanna get through. Will City let him through? He will. Yep, City's gonna be a good teammate right there, but he's gonna hold off the McLaren of Tachubi, who's on attack. Oh, Tachubi almost causing a little bit of a moment right there as well with the back end of City of R. It's definitely a grip differential. Six laps versus two laps. Pace, gen pace between the two of them is definitely different as well. Tachubi, huge run for that one. He really makes an outside lunge. I think he's going to have it. Yeah, he will. City of R just decides to let him go. Xylo going to maybe get advantageous right now. He has to stack back out of that one. That was smart. Throat Yogurt and Marcus Libs in just the weirdest position. They're still on these dry tires, and they're watching. All these guys on interns have, you know, troubles in some corners, but... You know, uh, no troubles in others. It's just, it's so awkward, man. How do they handle? Oh, dude, they're so fast to Puyon. I don't, I don't get it. Or, uh, not Puyon. It's, uh, gosh, what's the name of that corner? Blanchemont. Oh, big send from El Taco Jack. He's in the inters. Oh, going to get pushed off wide there, right there a little bit. I think uh, Jack and Marcus Libs are having a little bit of a kerfuffle. Jack going to probably stay behind. Oh, he's going to send it right here. Oh, he's absolutely going to send it. Big send from El Taco Jack. Forces Marcus Lips to take that wide line. I think Marcus is not going to be one to, not going to want to take it. He's going to have a better exit here. Oh, they're not going to go side by side. Yeah, Jack will have the exit speed. Up at the front, Gamer and Sebi. Oh, teammates. Oh, Sebi almost having a huge moment with his teammate. Wow, they had a little bit of a uh, a scary one. Ketchum will catch a five second for speeding the pit lane. Unfortunate for Ketchum. Looks like he's retired into the pits. Going to be a given up position from Rich Sebi, giving it to his teammate Gamer, who's gone through on the softs. The top five all on drives. So it looks like still actually was the move, which is incredible how they're making it work on this very glossy condition. It's just that crossover point. I think if you're any other tier, you wouldn't make it work, but tier one, they make it work. Supply Raptor getting just absolutely clobbered by multiple drivers. Zala trying to take advantage of it. Oh, I think this is gonna go bad. Oh, oh, how did they make it through? City of R gonna take the outside line over his teammate. Supply Raptor just letting it go. And that's El Taco Jack making a move as well. Yikes, 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 yikes. I think Supply Raptor must have some damage or something like that. It's looking rough for sure. Oh, there it is. That's the big oh. one. That's Sebi. Whoa. Sebi and Tachubi off to the right. Tachubi going to rejoin. Almost hits his teammate. Tachubi? Whoa. And that's not a safety car. No. Uh, sorry about that, Punjo. I am back. You're good. Holy smokes. No safety car. I don't know. That's wild, dude. Yeah, I just caught that right at the end there. Not even a virtual. Oh, Nothing. Oh, my gosh. We might be out of safety cars. If we're out of safety cars, dude, it's got to get torrential for this to be anything worth it. Or, to be, you know, for it to, you know, look anything good for, uh, for the people that are on the inter, Zylo, Jack, or City of R. Otherwise, they're going to be in a rough spot here. Going to the final uh, final few laps. I mean, we've only got three. Three laps. So, I don't know if we've had a VSC go uh, go to an upgrade. I'm not sure. Uh, it could have been. There's the Estenba leading the spot to Cookie. Who's leading the race? Cookie, out of nowhere, has gotten a great run coming out of Rouge Radion. And he's leading the race on some pretty old soft tires that are holding strong and steady. Cookie, currently set to seal the championship here. Going in to the final round, he'll be done and dusted before March 24th comes around if he can hold this position. But remember, it's getting slippery out there. It's getting glossier. It's getting more and more treacherous as every single second counts down. Whoa, Andy, I don't know what's going to happen here. There's a yellow flag in the back. It's like a Chazzy and Tachubi. Yeah. Yeah, and we can definitely see spray now as well. And it doesn't mean Cookie doesn't have to make a mistake here. Estenbar could make a mistake and really cause the championship leader a problem which would breathe life into Marcus Libs if he can drag himself up a few more positions in this race yeah. but he will be relying on Cookie or even Estenbar on making a huge mistake in this last three laps yep yeah I, uh, I, I, I just want to count on it you know like he's got a Marcus has to have a serious miracle uh because uh, he's not just going to make up a few positions. He's got to make up, like, six. He's got to be, I think, in the top five. Yeah. Wow. But he does have three intermediate runners in front of him and throat yoga on eight lap old medium tires. 
That's so true. there is potential, you know. There's only five seconds between him and Zylo right now. That's a good point. And uh, also, look at this. Uh, El Taco Jack is looking a little bit sketchy right behind City of R as well. So uh, they could uh, end up having a little bit of a moment as well. You never know. It's, oh, dude, it's it's Dip and Tuck for sure. Oh, that's a little scary. Yeah, it's uh, it's anyone's game still between those two. Zylo is going to go side by side with Gamer. No, he's not. Oh, my God. Did he make it work? No, they didn't. There it is. Gamer's out. He spun all the way through off to the side. He's oh got to be God. so lucky. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. And someone's Supply Raptor is coming up. Yeah, but he's going to be fine. Wow. Gamer, of course, extremely unlucky to get you know caught up with that one with Silo, but he's counting his lucky stars big time. City of R and El Taco Jack training positions. DRS is officially disabled. Inters are looking better now. Marcus up two positions from that kerfuffle in front of him, but that's not going to be enough. Remember, Cookie has to just lose this entire thing for it to make a difference. And Esteban, I don't think he wants to be the one to do that to him. I think he's going to be extra careful sitting here in second. Going to play it nice and chill. Uh... This is, uh, this is crazy. Te Someone's saying Zylo could win this? I just don't think so, man. I don't think he's going to make that much time. Look at the intervals. It's huge. 2.6 to yeah. the next guy. 1.6 on top of that. 1.7 on top of that. And then two tenths. No shot. No shot. Uh, yeah, no shot. However, Essenbot does look to be, I think, the faster driver over Cookie right now. Doesn't he? Yeah, for sure. Um... Dude, imagine they go side by side. Through, uh, oh, don't. through Flashmont. In, imagine? imagine they decided to do it. I would, I would love that so much. I'd be like, wow, this is insane. Only in tier one would they ever try this on like a variable condition where they're on bad tires. Only in tier one would that ever happen. I would love it. Yeah. But so far, I mean, all the gaps otherwise are, are pretty big. You know, gamers right behind Giants fan. He's catching up slowly but surely. Uh, Gamer's really counting his lucky stars that he did not get clapped into right there. Same thing with Marcus Libs. He came over that, you know, hill totally blind, and Gamer's just right there on the racing line on the outside. Nothing Gamer could do, don't get me wrong. He was just stuck there. But, uh, yeah, they're all pretty lucky, you know, right there for, for making that alive on that one. Estenba and Cookie. Oh, dude, look at this. Yeah. And there's no DRS to help each other. They're both burning overtake. Estenba's just relying on draft. They're both burning all their energy they got. It's gonna be a late send from Esteban. No, just kidding. He's gonna take it uh, early. He's gonna rely on Cookie to maybe overdo it, but he doesn't do it. Cookie, strong on the brakes there. Smart, smooth, and quite steady. And this might be the moment right here. You never know. It could be uh, fireworks. No fireworks here quite yet. Waiting for our grand finale. We still got one and a half more laps to go of this tight, tight battle between these two front runners. Esteban and Cookie are giving everything they got, man. This is awesome. Yeah, they're, uh, they're racing. I like I like this from these, these two guys. You know, yep. Cookie could just let Esten Bar through and be quite happy sat in second position. Um, although he doesn't know where Marcus Libs is, he knows that in fantastic shape as weaving behind Cookie is Esten Bar in the house. Yes. Yeah, I mean, Minico's saying that Cookie doesn't care. But, I mean, the way that I'm seeing Cookie drive, his car language says differently. This dude is yep. left, right, and center every single which way. Zylo and Snakey going side by side. Zylo has made the pass. Remember, those interests are starting to get better. Zylo's finally made a pass, but I don't think he's got enough pace to get to the podium spots. He's got to make some serious moves on tricks over this final lap. Esteban now dropping back again. It seems like uh, Cookie has much better uh, straight line speed, but Esteban's catching him like crazy in the corners. Yeah. Oh. I think it's just I tires. I think it must just be tires, man. Cookie's tires must be... Uh really much on the edge and i know a lot of those laps were under safety car conditions but we are on the final lap of the race and yeah it just looks to me like these two guys as long as they don't murder each other going through <laughs> um eau rouge up radion into the camel street we should be in good shape now that's a big as long as mm. they keep it uh they keep it clean but oh yeah esteban's got the run he's gonna try it cookie's gonna burn his energy too yeah they're both just they're fighting it man look cookie's like gives a little wiggle like hey don't you try it Late move out from Esteban. He's going to maybe try to trick Cookie into a late breaking, but it doesn't work again. Esteban trying the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. That's the definition of insanity. Esteban will try to make the move on the inside for a switchback. It's going to be a late break. Oh, no, it won't. He's going to have to back out of it. Cookie defends it bravely and brilliantly. And again, parks that apex with Zylo making a move on his teammate. He's up into the podium spot. Incredible. Esteban still nip and tuck with the race leader here. He does still want the win, of course. Uh, Esteban, that would give him two race wins in a row. He'd feel really nice about that. Still, he, I'm sure he feels hard done by with this, you know, championship for this season. But uh, 
It's going to be a good finish, as Jan says. Yeah, and you're right, man. It's going to be tight. Who do you think is going to have it? We got uh, about 10 corners left, not even. Just keep your eyes on the Aston Martin. <gasps> you're right. Keep your eyes on the Aston Martin. Seven tenths. He's going to have advantage going through some of these faster corners. And certainly as we get down to the bus stop chicane, Zylo does have himself a chance at a race win here. Whoa. Out of nowhere. Out of absolutely nowhere, Zylo comes up absolutely cooking. But I don't think he's got the speed. He's just going to have a crazy launch coming out of this bus stop chicane. He just needs to line this one up just right. Marcus flips the giant fan collide on the street. No. And it's going to be a three-wide finish, a two-wide finish. Cookie and Esteban, Cookie just won't get it. Or just, oh Esteban just won't God. get it. Cookie barely beats him. And Zylo right behind him as well. As Giants fan and Marcus Lids crash on the straightaway out of uh, out of Blanchemont, I think. Oh, my gosh. That is Red Bull and Cookie confirmed as your champions here in Tier 1. It's done and dusted. Well done to those two. Well, well, well done. Holy smokes. It was hard fought. Nine races in a row of intense, awesome action. But unfortunate for the Ferrari's commiserations. And congratulations to the Red Bulls. Well done for a Constructors' Championship and a Drivers' Championship in the same race. Locked it with Esteban coming home in second. And Zylo, out of nowhere, grabs the third place finish. Almost got the win, too. What the heck? Yeah, he was only eight hundredths off P2 there. That's crazy. Right at the end. That's a dominant way to, to win a championship, though. Well done to Cookie. City of R, insane. Look at him. Comes in in fifth. What the heck? This dude, reserving up, gets a fifth place position here in tier one. Incredible, man. That was amazing. And then we got uh, yeah, Snakey into sixth. El Taco Jack in seventh. Supply Raptor in eighth. Throat Yogurt Knight. And Chazzy, preserving up as well. Rounds on our top 10. That's amazing. Gamer, our final finisher, 11. We almost had an Oprah race. Marcus and Giants fan technically didn't even finish. They both DNF'd. No, wow. That's wild. Marcus and Giants fan on the straight, well, on um, Blanchemont. Blanchemont. Yeah, it's, it's not really straight away at that point. <laughs> that's, no, it isn't. Yeah, it's, it, uh, it, it's not the first time I would have seen something happen on that part of this track over the course of this weekend. It's bonkers. It is notorious. Notorious yeah. for people getting a little bit too aggressive, a bit too brave, perhaps. It's quite true. Now, somebody's telling me to look at the strategy sheet. Pit stops. Look at this, dude. Look at this crap. Look at how yeah. long this pit stop thing is. Holy smokes, nobody knew what to do. This is incredible. Look at all those colors. <laughs> it's every color has been used at least five times. To chubby. <laughs> soft, hard, into, soft, into, into. Oh my gosh. Giant to chubby, man. Hard, medium, soft, into, mediums, into. Anybody put some <laughs> wets on just to make the color rainbow complete? Nobody did. Nobody did it. <laughs> Somebody needed to it like the last lap just to give it to us. Yeah. My gosh, dude. That was impressive. Well done, man. Well done to everybody. Well, hey, looks like uh, looks like that was our race here tonight. Let's see if we can get those uh, podium finishers, Estenbot, Zylo, and of course Cookie into uh into the uh, interview room here. Let's see if any of them are ready. Do you mind uh, messaging them and seeing uh, if any of them can join us? I am doing my best, sir. Esten Heckin', yeah. What's Estenbot's name in Discord? Uh, I don't know. It should just be Estenbot. Aston Bar, of course it is. Oh yeah, Aston Bar, yep. Aston Bar. Wow. Cookie. That was uh that was wildness. <clears throat> and Zylo. Wow. That was uh that was incredible. That was absolutely wild, man. Yeah, for sure. Where is where is where is he now? Uh no for Aston Bar. Rip. He never can <clears throat> big rips. Yeah, big rip right there. see the interview waiting room uh, give me one second boom let's see uh anybody in here 
I, I can't even see an interview waiting room now. Do you want to expand it? You might just be collapsed. The VCs in the, in the media chat. Probably not. Oh, look at you. Right, let's get Zylo in. Let's do it. Zylo, move to media box. Uh, are we in two, yeah? I think so. Hey, hey! Yeah. Oh. It's hey. the Aston Martin beast mode, man. What's going on, Zylo? Hello, Master Strategy. How hey. you doing? Uh, I'm doing so well. Honestly, I'm so happy I got a podium this season. <laughs> Dude, that was insane. <laughs> and the way you get it is like the most electric, ridiculous race of all time. That was bonkers from start to finish. Holy smoke, Rolly. That was incredible. How are you feeling, man? Oh, I'm honestly, I'm like drenched. And so I, honestly, I was thinking so hard about the strategy. It was very difficult I call, to call sometimes. Something I've got it right. Sometimes I got it wrong. You know, I'm like, I'm happy I went like the way I wanted. Hey, dude, you made it work. That's uh, that's the impressive part. I mean, obviously, nobody knew what was going to happen at the end. Like, there was no real way to tell, like, hey, when is this actually going to cross over? I think that might be the longest crossover I've ever seen in an entire, in, like, mm -hmm. an F1 League race ever. Uh, so impressive that, obviously, you got it right. Uh, slightly by luck, slightly by skill, I'm sure. Uh, you know, this is your first podium, you said, of the season? Yeah. Yes. Wow. That is a drought if I've ever heard one, man. Uh, that's incredible. I, obviously, you know, this is our final season here on the uh, on the F123 game cycle. Uh, that's like an official season. And uh, and so it's going to be uh, interesting to, uh, to, to see what you got for the next week because I'm sure you still want to win this season. How are you feeling about your chances in Australia? Um, honestly, I remember having a good history at Australia. You know, mm -hmm. I won here before. And, yes. Uh, I, honestly, I love is just one of those tracks that like some people just hate it, absolutely hate it, despise it. And then, you know, then just there's like this group of people who like love the track, you know, like they always perform well. And I feel like I could be one of those people who can just probably get like that extra, that, that extra speed, that extra lap time to, to win. It could be. Never know. Uh, I mean, dude, today your, your race was insane. Honestly, uh, with like six laps out or like five laps out when the... When the final crash happened and we realized there was no more safety cars, I was like, oh, what? And maybe it was like three laps out. I was like, he's like nine seconds away from the lead. There's no way he'll catch this thing. Like, I did some math. I was like, yeah, there's no shot. Uh, how the heck did you go so fast? Was it really that big of a difference from the dry tires to the wet tires at that point? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, as soon as I saw, like, I, th I don't know when it was, but it was a safety car. And then I just noticed the track to be a little bit, like different than before and i just noticed like yeah gotta go inters yeah i was i was speaking with someone and i said like yo box this is inters and then he boxed as well mm -hmm. who was it that was that you were talking with uh it was jack of course oh look at that yeah that makes sense and uh yeah and it was looking really good for him unfortunately obviously he got caught up in a little bit of an incident but uh otherwise man he was he was cooking today for sure really really impressive to uh to see what he's got there i mean dude Zyla, that was that was a great race, man. You are our, in my opinion, like the standout for the day. Uh, that was wild how you found your way back up there. That looked like you were totally down and out, and there was gonna be no shot for you. Uh, but incredible job to to get that you know that vision just right to be able to grab those enters at the right time too. So so well done, my man. Um, I gotta wish you the best of luck for next week going on to Australia. I hope that your final round goes well, and uh, we shall chat you later, man. Thanks again. Thank you. See you. See well done, Zylo. Take care, buddy. Take care. Let's see. Do we uh do we have hey. our good friend uh Mr. Cookie in here? Mr. Cookie, we have him. Let's see if we can get him in without him bouncing out. Never know. Do we have Cookie? There we go. He's in. Cookie the cooking man. What is going on, Mr. Champ? How are you <laughs> feeling? Um mixed because uh I I was really tempted to just retire the car after uh my controller decided yeah. to disconnect twice. I know. Dude, um, your start was crazy. Like good or bad? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. No, like, I um. I thought you were done. I thought I was like, dude, Marcus actually has like, like this is gonna be going down to the final race. There's no way Marcus doesn't, you know, at least get nine points out of this thing. Uh, it's done. And I thought you were actually gonna DNF. There was a moment where I thought you were like genuinely gonna DNF. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I so I got a really good launch actually, surprisingly, yeah. like funnily enough, and then um. In yeah, like out of turn one into turn one, my I lost control. And when you lose control of the, um, like w when the controller like disconnects for a second, it doesn't pause. Yep. And it just keeps you going straight or wherever you're going. I know, and then so I I have no idea if I caused anything, but if I did, I I it wasn't on me. I promise. <laughs> and then um, 
<laughs> and then it, I got it back. I got to restart it, and then it did the same thing uh, in the middle sector, and I just went straight into a wall. And then I, mm -hmm. um, then I, but I, I could do not. I don't know if I killed. I think I killed someone there too. But mm. I literally had no control of my car. Um, well. Who knows? Maybe you get 20 seconds of penalty as Marcus Libs gets some points. <laughs> still, I don't think it's still be enough, <laughs> no matter what. Uh, I don't think there's any way that he finds himself at a nine points today. So, uh, wow, I didn't know it was that bad. I just I saw the the second one uh, in sector two, but I didn't really see the stuff at the front at the start. I just noticed that you dropped a bunch of positions. So what the heck? Kind of came out of nowhere. Um, so yeah, wow, dude. I mean, way to recover. Obviously, you're right. Like, I'm sure that probably got you pretty dejected. You're like, dude, there's no way I can catch back on this thing. I'm done. But the fact that you decide to say, nope, screw it. I'll just race this thing out. Let's see what happens. Obviously, you know, fortune favors the bold and the perseverance. And so a win out of that is incredible, man. What a way to finish a season two uh, for yourself for the championship. Obviously, we got next week, right? But but stakes are off, man. You're done. You're a champion. Uh, yeah. That you... was actually the um, the championship round for me because I, I, I wasn't going to be able to make next week. I don't want, want anyone to know that. Because... Oh, yeah, I had to win it this this season. Look at that. Well, you know, that's uh, that means you got it done and dusted in your time. So you probably told you, I'm sure, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you probably told yourself the last few weeks, like, I'm going to win this thing before round nine, uh, and hence why you went so hard the last few weeks, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. These these I feel like I've won a lot of races here on pace, like the first, I don't know, the first few and then Hungary. But then, like, today was not on pace. And then Jetta, I got P4 yeah when i was probably the 12th or 13th quickest person um so yeah i don't know that was i, I think this was probably the the biggest shit house quote unquote when i've ever had and like in my entire league racing career <laughs> it happens uh, take them right take them where you get them a win's a win yeah i i just had a i i think uh andy commented over this one too i just had yes. a um i just had a really good race of spa and i was like dude i'm really quick in the dry this is gonna be a good race and then it's just like a weird dry wet like fucking weird ass track the whole race and uh um yeah it was a weird one i think it was just i put on the, i put on the fresh softs at the right time and inters didn't go quick quick enough yeah it was uh it was it was great uh, honestly you know yeah, i think uh it worked out well enough for you is all that matters the fact that you held off xylo at the end as well was quite impressive he was catching you guys at the rate of knots that was impressive and estenba too was trying so hard to make a move on you but he just never had the uh the straight line speed to get you so uh dude that was that was awesome that final few laps those were those are great um going into next week since you're not gonna be here are you gonna be watching or are you just gonna be off uh enjoying some mai tais on in the bahamas like what are you doing i wish no i'm i'm uh, I'm, out, I'm out of town with my with my fiance we're going to her family's house and we're going to the fair and stuff like that so it's it'll be a yeah, nice. it'll be fun I, I i might might join on her little brother's xbox if i'm feeling there you up go. to it heck yeah yeah i mean but, all um, you need is a controller so it seems to be yeah, good yeah. enough for I you bring it <laughs> but um yeah those last few laps were probably the most insane i've ever like i i saw that xylo was coming he was quicker than both of us and then estimba as soon as i passed him it's like a light switch, like a light, like switched in his head or something, and he just started just being quick as hell. And he was on a wet <laughs> setup, I was on a dry setup. So oh. That's why you saw the disparity. This makes um, sense. Now. Ah, right. I knew he was fast in the corners. I was like, is it tires or is it oh, yeah, he was, in, he, he was on way fast. He was on uh, older mediums too, right? Uh, I think you were on the worst tires. Technically. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. You're right. You're okay, right. You're you right, were right. on ten lap. Yeah, you were on ten lap old softs. He was on thirteen lap old mediums. At that Correct. Point. Yeah. I would say the softs okay. are probably worse at that point. Um, but then uh, again, they, you, had, they, you had a bunch of wet running, on, like wet safety car running on those softs. So I don't know, man. They probably didn't wear much at all in those <laughs> those first two safety car runs. Like probably nothing. Yeah, I was on like forty percent, I think. Uh, oh, that's not bad. So. Yeah, especially yeah. at Spa, for whatever reason, you can take softs forever at this track. I don't know why, but they just last like just fine. So yeah. That was incredible, man. Great, great racing overall, dude. I mean, congratulations on your championship. Uh, go enjoy, go, uh, you know, enjoy your trip, obviously, with your fiance next week. And, uh, and, and again, congrats on the, on the trophy. You're going to have that yellow name now, that gold name, the discord. So that will be forever enshrined. It's a nice feeling. I'm sure. Uh, I like mine for sure as well. So, well, man, uh, again, great, great racing tonight. And I'm excited to, uh, see you, uh, hopefully next season. Obviously we're going to have a bit of a, a bit of a break, but we're gonna have a bunch of fun races in between the next game cycle. So hopefully I'll see you for a much, bunch more of those. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. I'll, I'll be here next season. Hopefully, I don't fall off a cliff. I tend to, my pace tends to go back and forth, so we'll see. Hopefully, it's be, a good game. I'm sure for me. you'll be just fine. I'm sure you'll be just fine.
Yeah, I'm, ca I'm capping Bunju. I want to dominate it. I want to dominate Big that's Dog. That's what I'm talking about. That's the <laughs> dominance. That's what I'm kiddo. looking for. There's <laughs> our tier one champion. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, man. We'll chat you later. Thanks again. See ya. What up, Cookie? Well, superb stuff. yeah, that was very superb. Andy, I mean, dude, what a ridiculous end to the season. That's insane, dude. Yeah, well, the, the season hasn't even ended yet, you know? I know. That got... race was something different. I think that Eston Bar is the only driver that didn't touch the intermediate compound. Oh, he never did? I, I think he went, I only saw on race director hard, then medium. I didn't see anything else. Wow. I think you're right. Director. I think he had a one-stopper. Yes. While the world crumbled around him. It's incredible, dude. That's just that's just being resolute and stone cold set in your ways, man. I, it works yeah. out sometimes. That's incredible. Wow. Well, obviously, you know, we've talked about it a little bit. Next week is our season finale at Australia. Uh, Andy, it's going to be bonkers. I'm sure it, we're going to see nothing but craziness. No one has, like, championship stakes in the line anymore for, like, who's going to win it. But obviously, there's still plenty of points to go around for the combined constructors across the entire, uh, across the entire league. So there's still a lot of stakes going on, and it's Tier 1. They never relax. They never go chill. It's always sweaty. Um... Are you expecting yeah. a little bit more uh, calm, nice racing? Or are you expecting uh, real-life Australia from last year, but made virtual? Absolutely not. I'm expecting the chicane of death to claim at least three victims. Yes. Um, the um, I, I like the layout. They've, they've actually just had Australia as part of F1 ranked yes. in the last few weeks. And um, yeah, that the middle of Sector 2... And the uh, the start of Sector 3 can be a little bit sketchy. I know these guys do not give an inch to each other on track. Never. Uh, which can be part of their downfall in the long run. Yep. But um, we, we've seen it. We've seen it tonight. I, I hope it's uh, I hope we finish with a dry race. Mm -hmm. And I hope we, we finish with a, a clean race and some, you know, a surprise winner. Yeah, I think uh, I think we will see this private winner. I just have I just have a feeling we're gonna get a, a random one. Um, well, man, I think it's about time that we head out of here and we go give some Noah system love. Remember, guys, if you guys have not ever watched the Noah system here, you guys are missing out. It's gonna be a bunch of fun here tonight at Spa. I'm sure they're gonna have variable weather as well, so make sure you go jump over there at the end of the stream. And until next week, when we will see you guys uh, for uh, the season finale here in Tier One, I need you guys to, as always, do me a great big favor. Keep being wonderful. Keep making the world a better place. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all the love and support here at Moose Racing League. Give all the love over to No Assist. They're amazing over there. And uh, and let Pat and Mage know that we sent you. All righty, friends. We'll see you guys later. Adios. Good night.